As you may or may not know, Blender has a very capable compositor built into it. In this video, we're going to look at exporting passes to a multi EXR, re importing them into the compositor workspace, and combining them back into our beauty pass, as well as a couple of situations that could benefit from this process, including UV texturing after the render. Okay, let's start by rendering our scene. I'm going to switch over to the output properties. Just make sure we have a file path set here. File format, we're going to go with Open EXR Multi Layer, and RGB as we don't have an alpha, and I'm going to go Full Float so we can have as much data as possible. And then we're going to jump over to the next tab and just choose our passes. For here, uh, under light, you can pretty much switch on everything. I, I don't think I'm going to be using ambient occlusion or shadow, so I've kept those unchecked. But I also have checked object cryptomat and material cryptomat, as we're going to be using those later, as well as our denoising and more importantly, our UV data also. It's worth mentioning that all of the elements here have UVs set up for them. Okay, with all that said, let us hit render. With our render done, we're going to go up to the scene option here and create a new scene. And we're going to call this one comp and jump over across to our compositing tab. Here we can check use nodes, delete our render layer and load in the EXR that we've been using. So input image. Okay. And as we can see here, a plethora of outputs have been populated on this node. So if we connect our combined to our image, and what I'm also going to do here is just hide this uh, numerical panel, uh, this uh, side panel by hitting N on the keyboard and hold down shift, right click on the mouse and just draw a line. This will create a split here. And also worth mentioning that I have node Wrangler enabled, which enables me to control shift click this point. And now we have an automatic viewer node attached up to it. So this is our beauty pass. It's a little bit noisy, but we're going to clean that up later also. So before we can see some of the cool things we can do with compositing after the fact, let's go about recreating our beauty pass here. So to do that, we need a lot of mix nodes. So I'm just going to bring up the first one. And what we're going to do is add our direct and indirect together and multiply by our color. And then we're going to do that for all of these groups here and then add those together afterwards. So just show you what I mean. So for let's look at the direct. So direct is that we're going to add it to indirect. Add. And then for color, we're going to use another mix node, but we're going to use multiply. So color in and multiply. And there we have the diffuse data for our render. I'm uh, just going to let's give these another color. Now we're going to do that a few more times. And then we're going to take an add and chuck these together. And then we have, I mean, it's super subtle and you may not have transmission data in your scene particularly, but you can see here, it just adds a tiny bit of a glassy material to the fingertips and toe, toe tips, toes. So let's collapse all of these down so we can save ourselves a little bit of room. Okay, so we have our render again, but why did we go through this process? Sorry about this. Hello? Hey Louis, it's Chris from the agency. Absolutely loving the renders, but we're thinking they're lacking a um, bit of dynamism. Maybe the hat could change from red to purple. We're thinking as well the uh, spray can lacks a bit of a boom. We've got one of our designers to put something together. I'm going to email it over to you now. That'll be fantastic. You're brilliant. Ciao. <sighs> 
Okay, not ideal, but thankfully those changes we can do in our comp, so we don't need to spend hours re-rendering. To do that, let's start by changing the hat to purple. We are going to use a crypto mat to isolate the hat here. So shift A, search, start typing out crypto mat. We're going to use the object, object one, zero, one, two. And if we control shift click to our pick output, we can add the hat. And then we jump back to our mat. We have a nice mat for our hat there. Oh, where do we want to make the color adjustment? We want to make it in the color of the diffuse before it gets multiplied onto everything else. So just look at our output here. I'm going to adjust the hue with a hue saturation value node. For the factor, we're going to use the mat. And now we can shift the hue around. I'm just going to turn it down to that looks good. I'm going to turn the value down as well just to make it a little bit less pink. Awesome. Okay, well, we've got that little adjustment done. Now let's sort out the textures and we should be getting the email through any second now. Cool. Okay, let's download those designs. Jump back over to our compositing window and search for image and load in our first design. Okay, we've got our packaging design. Now we want to add it after our hat adjustment here. So I'm going to load up a new mix node, drag it in between. On top, we'll use our package. Okay, that is on top, but we need to isolate it to just the can area. So I am going to duplicate our crypto mat and I'm going to use the material instead of the object because we don't want the whole can. So let's just plug those in. Just delete the values here. Jump over to pick. Select our material. Just check we have it. Excellent. Use that mat as our mix factor. Check our output. We're not seeing anything because the image is currently up here. So we need to deform this into the UV coordinates. So let's do search UV. UV map, put that in between, everything jumps around. And then we can have, and then we can drag out our UV output from our multi EXR and plug it in. And there we go, we have our design loaded up onto our spray can. Now, uh, they wanted to see another version as well, so let's just open up the other version and load it in and boom, it just jumps in straight away, which is fantastic. And um, again, no re-rendering. So for our final little adjustments, let's add a denoise. Okay, that's our final comp and I'm calling that done. Oh, hello? Hello, it's Chris from the agency. Just another tiny little bit of feedback. The client is wondering if the fraud could look a little bit more like an eagle. Add some feathers, stuff like that. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Uh, would that be okay? Hello? Hello? I don't think he's there. Hello? Hello? Okay, well, I'll send it in an email. Thanks, bye.